QLC Plus Fixture Grid Creation. So you'll probably find it handy when you're running the program to be able to see the DMX values that the software is actually transmitting out to the lights. They do have a indicator up here. You can click on this box and it will bring up DMX values showing you all the DMX values that are currently being output. And the only problem with this is since we patched in one to one 100 fixtures, it's showing everything here. So being able to find what you're looking for, you can find the labels, but it's still a little bit kind of cluttered. Um, so there is a better option to this. They do offer a 2D view, which you actually have to create. So click up here where it says 2D view, and you can add lights to this grid view so that you get a better indication of maybe what lights are coming off and on. I like to use this when I am doing running cues just because it's a kind of a fail-safe way for me to look and say, okay, the lights that I'm expecting to come on are, are coming on, and the ones that I'm expecting to fade out are fading out. Uh, it doesn't give you numerical um, value printouts, but the brightness of the lights in the grid does fade up and fade down to kind of give you an indicator. But for me, it's more about just seeing you know, what lights are on where, so that it kind of jives with what I'm looking at from the cue list. So this is fairly easy to do. I set up my grid to be 25 feet by 25 feet, but you can do this for whatever your stage size is. Um, I've turned on labels up here, so when I bring my lights up, they're going to have the labels on them. And adding lights to the grid is very easy. Click on the plus here, and I'm going to scroll down and click on my front of house one, hold down my shift key, click on front of house six, and say, okay, go ahead and add it. Now the way that it does this, it brings them all up in the upper left-hand corner and I'm going to grab this and drag it down. Now you'll notice this is front of house six. Drag it down here and then drop it. One of the features that it's kind of that I don't like about this, as soon as you drop it, it gives you some another menu over here that kind of decreases the size of this. So it's easily fixed though. Just grab this and open it up wider so you have a better view. Now I'm going to grab my let's do this a little bit wider. My front of house five. Bring this down here, drop it down here my front of house four, drop that in here, my front of house three, my front of house two, and my front of house one light. There we go. And it is not a snap to grid, but at least it gives you some uh, guides to like positioning your lights here. Now another nice thing about this is I can also put colored gels in here so when I'm bringing up the lights are coming on and off, uh, not only do they have the labels on them to distinguish what they are, which you can turn on or off, with the label tool, but I can put colored gels in them to kind of help me identify, okay, those light blue ones are my front of house uh, lights. Even if I might not be using a light blue gel in them, it's just kind of an identi identify thing. So I simply select the light like that, and I'm going to put in uh, yeah, that color there. Unfortunately, you can't multiple select here. Uh, maybe that's something they'll include in another version. I'll email Massimo and see if you can do something about that. But anyway, I'm going to add these gels to the lights. One at a time, as quick as I can go. And there we have it. Okay, so now when I bring up my lighting, I'm still in my functions menu, but you know that if I click on blackout, you know, it's going to put that up on the stage. Of course, blackout has no lights in scene one. And you see that my lights do come on. So it gives me an indicator that in scene one, my front of house lights are on. Again, there's no numerical indicator to tell you what the intensity is, but at least you have an idea that, okay, that looks like it's correct. You know, my front of house lights are on. Scene two, scene three, that they're out. Scene four, these, the, the right stage four lights, looks like this one's been dimmed down a little bit, and these ones are totally turned off. And scene five, looks like this one came back up. So you get the idea. Let me um, go ahead and add the rest of the lights from our setup in here. So I'm going to go and add in our uh, downstage lights. Let's see here, downstage one through five. You'll notice that the other ones have been grayed out here, showing us that they have already been added to the grid. All right, those are downstage five. Now there's only five of these, so we'll position these here. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. And then we'll go back and put some gels in these guys too. Let me see. 
select this one. Maybe we'll use like a yellow gel this time. That one there. Yellow. And one more. All right, then finally I'm going to go ahead and add in my center stage lights. I'm just going to leave those white. I won't put a gel in them at all. Bring this down here. There's center stage six, center stage five, center stage four, center stage three, center stage two, and then center stage one. All right. So now if I just click on here and it gets rid of that edit menu, that edit menu pops up anytime you click on a light, but if you click back in the black box here, you can kind of make that go away. And I say I like to have this indicator up whenever I'm running cues for the show and that just because it tells me you know an indicator of like things are working as I expect them to work. Let's take a look now. There's scene one our front of house lights but the other lights are not on. Scene two we've added uh, looks like down the front of house but we've also added our downstage lights to that. Looks like they're kind of dimmed down a little bit. Scene three just those four lights. Scene four that all these lights with a couple of different lights turned off in some areas and then scene five, we're back to these four. So again, just a handy way to be able to uh, see things um, as you're running your cues.